Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today we are taking a look at Time Verb X from GSI. Now, I'm going to be trying it with this piano here, which is also a GSI instrument, Genuine Sounds. And also this guitar sound from Pure Synth Platinum. I'll just show you this. So... Now I've removed any reverb uh, off both of these instruments so you can uh, get a good idea of how it sounds. So, let's see. Okay, so what is it? It's a spring reverb here along the top and it's a digital reverb along the bottom. So you can mix and match as you like. So you have low pass, high pass for each of the reverbs. Then you have the decay, the dampening, spring tension for the spring reverb, timbre, dispersion, stereo width for the spring. And then for the digital, you have same tone controls, low shelf, high shelf, decay, dampening, then pre-delay, area reflections, diffusion, and room size. Now, along the bottom here, you have a mix between the spring and the digital. Then you have a mix for the dry signal and the wet signal. And then you have, this is very nice, a routing. So at the moment, you'll see it's in the center here, this highlighted red, it's in parallel. And then, if we click on this, we can move from series, which is sending the digital into the spring. And then the first one here is the spring into the digital. So all your routings. Uh, it has a fun button here. Uh, it's not engaged at the moment, but it has a fun button here. When you hit it, you'll rattle the springs. <laughs> okay. But before you say to yourself, well, it's just another reverb, right? This is really, really nice. And it, it sounds great now. Let's engage it on the piano, shall we? And see what's going on. Now, if I tap this now, you get this <laughs> cool sound, but listen. So again, without. And this is just the initial patch. Now you get a few presets you can play around with, but we're going to mess with the interface. So let's take the digital out first. Let's increase the de Let's move the mix up for this as well. So be careful when you go into this area here because you'll get start to feed back on itself. And then you have damping, so. But there's a nice warning layer there for you to, uh, warning indicator when it's gonna start feeding back. Spring tension. So. Really wide range of sounds with the spring. Tambra. <clears throat> Let me mute my microphone. Okay, now let's have a listen to the digital reverb. Thank you. 
That's a nice effect. <clears throat> I mean, this is extreme settings. So it starts to get really fun when we blend the two together. So, oh. So that's it running in parallel. Let's see what the difference is when we start to run it in series. For example, let's go to the top one where the uh, spring is feeding into the digital. So comparison to them both running in series is the, sorry, running in parallel. This is running in series. Now, if we turn the digital reverb down now, we're not gonna hear anything because the actual spring is going into the digital. So if we whack these up, we'll get kind of, kind of a delay effect, especially if we take the spring tension down. And then the other way around, digital into a spring. really careful with the decay there on the spring of course okay so it is on a, your piano kind of piano type sound let's listen to it on on this one <clears throat> which is like an electric guitar sound so i'll mute the microphone and i'll blast through a few presets and stuff now you know how it really nice 
That's lovely. you go sounds bloody awesome <laughs> it does really sound nice there you go time verb x from gsi is guido but i'm not going to pronounce the uh, attempt to pronounce his second name but yeah gsi awesome stuff uh yeah i hope you enjoyed the video if you did as usual please give it a thumbs up uh subscribe to the channel please consider becoming a patron uh for from a dollar a month and you get access to absolutely everything and uh yeah top job cool beans i will see you later thank you for watching bye